Hi friends, I hope you're having a great day today. I've got a couple of books I wanna read you and hopefully hopefully you can get outside and enjoy some sunshine before the rain comes, but I um, thought I'd sit outside while I could. So I've got two books. I've got The Duckling Gets a Cookie and this is also by uh, Mo Willems. And then I have, There Was an Old Dragon Who Swallowed a Knight. Hmm. All right. The Duckling Gets a Cookie? Pigeon is saying, I do not like the look of that title. Hello. May, may I have a cookie, please? Oh, thanks. That, that was very nice of you. Oh, oh, look at all those nuts. Hey, how did you get that cookie? Hmm? I asked for it. You asked for it? Pol politely. Say, does that cookie have nuts? Oh. Yes. So, you got a cookie with nuts just by asking? Politely. I ask for things all the time. I ask to drive the bus. I ask for hot dog parties. I'll ask for a french fry robot every now and then. I've asked for a walrus. Do I ask for candy? I do. It doesn't have to be a big bus, you know. Right now I'm asking why? Why, why, why? Oh, there's more. Sometimes I ask for a hug. I ask to stay up late. Or I'll ask for one more story. I can't count the times I've asked for my very own personal iceberg. Oh yeah, I'm the asking in, askingest pigeon in town. But do I get what I ask for? <gasps> no! It's not fair. Hmm. Ducklings get everything. Pigeons like cookies too, especially with nuts. Why did you get that cookie? So I could give it to you? And another thing. You're giving me that cookie with the nuts. That is so nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mmm. That is one cool duckling. Yes, sir. Bye. May, may I have another cookie, please? But this time with no nuts. <laughs> Little duckling got that cookie. I bet he didn't like the peanuts. Do you think that's why he gave it to Pigeon? I don't know, but that was nice either way. All right, so I'm gonna sing this one. There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight. If you've heard, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. Well, this is kind of like that. It's a twist on that story, but it's about a dragon and a knight. So there's your title page. This is by Penny Parker Klosterman and it's illustrated by Ben Mantle. There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight. I don't know why he swallowed the knight. Oh. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a steed. Steed is another word for horse that galloped around at a terrible speed. Oh, how the dragon wished it would stop that clippity 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 clop. 
He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a squire who hollered, that's hot, when the dragon breathed fire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. Clippity, 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 clock. There was an old dragon who swallowed a cook, a savory cook in his recipe book. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a lady. It seems quite shady he'd swallow a lady. He swallowed the lady to rule the cook. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a castle, swallowed it down to the last golden tassel. He swallowed the castle to hold the lady. He swallowed the lady to rule the cook. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. Speed, clippity, 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 clop. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. Hmm. There was an old dragon who swallowed a moat, guzzled and gulped it right down his throat. Mm. With all of that water, he started to bloat, and that's when the dragon roared, and I quote, Okay, enough, I've had enough, more than enough of this swallowing stuff. Maybe I've been a tad impolite, perchance I should only have swallowed the night. So he burped out the moat that had caused him to bloat. He burped out the castle along with the tassel. He burped out the lady who found that quite shady. He burped out the cook and his recipe book. He burped out the squire, now blackened with fire. Then with all of the power that he could amass, the dragon burped out one last billow of gas. Burp. And with terrible speed, he burped out the steed. Clippity, 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 clop. Clippity, 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 stop. There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight. Oh, just right. Good night. And that's the end. So he didn't want to get rid of the knight. He wanted to eat him. That's a funny story. It's a little bit of a twist to the, oh, there wasn't a lady who swallowed a fly. Maybe you could come up with your own story about something that swallowed different things and then burped them out at the end. Well, friends, go out and have a great day. I hope you have a wonderful time outside doing fun things. And remember, I love you. Your teachers love you. Your parents love you. But who loves you most of all? God. Bye, friends. Bye-bye.